Hi again, everyone. I'm Ali Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. And this resistance video is sponsored by a contribution from June, and here's her story. Hi, Ali. I'm hoping you can do a video for me about another narc in my family of origin. He's the bio dad, but I like to call him alien. I've written about my mother and a sibling, and now it's this guy's turn. He's devious and likes to present to the world like he's a good guy. I think it's time for a reality check, even if it's just one example of his betrayal. I had just turned 21 and had been paying for everything related to my education, including a room out of town. It was my third and final year, and now I needed a car for an unpaid internship. Because transit was impossible, I had to take two major highways to get there. So I asked him if I could borrow $3,000. He said, okay. Less than a week later, I picked out a car and, and came to him. But he said, I can't lend you money. It's all tied up in investments. I had no fight in me and no boundaries to form an opinion. I didn't even question whether it was true. Years later, I realized he obviously had the money and was likely punishing me. I replayed the scene in my head and saw that he was getting all chummy with the used car salesman. We had only looked at one, a, at one car, a dark brown sedan, and my dad said I should buy it. I suspect he already had an agreement with the salesman and I was ruining his chances to score points with a complete stranger. I told him I didn't like the car and I wanted to keep looking. It would be the first and last time he came with me to look. A few days later, I found a newspaper ad for a white compact car, and after a test drive, I wanted it. It was my preference, which I'm not allowed, I guess. At the time, it really didn't register what had happened. It didn't even occur to me that he had agreed that he agreed to the loan just a few days before he could say, before he, before he said no. It didn't even occur to me that he had agreed to the loan just a few days before he said no. I was, I was stunned. I didn't know about household finances and that someone like him would at least have a rainy day account. After telling me that things were all tied up, my mother ended up loaning me the money. She had been standing next to him when he reneged on the deal. I saw the smirk on her face, almost as if she had gotten one over on him. She's an arc too. All they did was fight for years over who was in control. And that's what it is, man. That's the carrot at the end of the stick, man, that you will never, ever, ever catch. Let me just finish. The deal was I would have to pay it back over the summer. That meant turning over every paycheck except a few dollars every two weeks. I made that mistake. I've talked about it in the past about how they would try to control you through cars and vehicles and loans and controlling your money. <clears throat> Especially when you live in a place where you have to drive to live. All of this, all of this, the empty promises, the carrot at the end of the stick, the finally they do something for you. Like in my case, they leased the car in my name for over $300 a month in 1993. And I once again had to be turning over my paycheck for a car and insurance. Always broke, always broke. That's how they wanted you. That's how they want you. Always broke. Because that's how they can control you. They control your, your, your ability to drive. They control your finances. They control you. See, my brother was smart. Like, after my father had done, like, I'm going to buy you a Jeep trick on him, 
the first time, he never fell for it again. And it was just like, no, nah, fuck you. You're not. I, I've seen you do this over and over and over again. Okay. To, to my brother. Like, at that point. Like, he knew it. And then when the first time it was played on him, that was it. He's done. He Because he saw it for what it is. Oh, you're going to do to me what you did to him. No, that's not how that works. I was obedient, so much so that I remember when a friend urged me to go to a club, I said no because the $5 cover charge is unbelievable. You have to obsess and worry about being worry about being humiliated over a $5 cover charge. I is just so much. It's just so much anger. Cuz it was unnecessary. Your family wasn't poor. My family wasn't poor. You know, you'd go out. When we were out, there was no internet. So you'd go out, we playing football, baseball, stickball in the streets, running around, riding bikes. You're thirsty and everybody want to go to 7-Eleven and get, you know, big gulps or Slurpees and go play video games. Not me. Well, I could go, but I, had, I got to watch everybody get everything. That carries on later on in life, and then you're worried about a $5 cover, a cover charge. So you're an adult, and they're still controlling your money. But that's how, that's how they have trained you. I should mention that he was cheap, mortgage-free, and liked to count his money. He used to keep... A black binder with all his mutual fund statements. And when I was in my 40s, he would often show them to me. This example with the car isn't the darkest story I have about his relationship with money and betrayal, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'm grateful as always to get this off my chest. You do good work and I thank you. Hope the lockdown measures end soon. Take care, June. I just want to keep you broke. They just want narcissist wants to keep you broke. Keep you broke to keep you in control. The carrot at the end of the stick. I mean, it's every tactic. Every tactic that I that, that I experienced and you know, it's just over again. Over and over again. It's like it's not even it's not it's not even surprising. It's not even surprising. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for another contribution in Story June. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100%, on contributions from all of you without you guys all this goes away so if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this you know what to do with the paypal and email links in the description box also please like and share this video wherever you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads also be sure to follow me on the library backup app as well I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.